Hello, everybody. Welcome to another edition of the Make Code Arcade um, live stream. I'm Richard, at Richard on the Make Code Forum. I'm Joey, at J Wondrel on the Make Code Forum. I'm Shannon, at Chacau on the Make Code Forum. And I'm Vivian, at Lifter on the Make Code Forum. Okay, and I think this is stream 132? Yes. Something like that. Um, but uh, today we're going to be making a, a fun little gravity game. Um, so... This is a mechanic that I've seen in a bunch of games, but the thing that was making me think about it recently was that uh, Nintendo recently published Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Um, and one of the early levels in Super Mario Galaxy has this fun little 2D th section where you jump around, and whenever the background is, um, like whatever arrow is you're overlapping in the background, it changes your gravity. Um, and so I, might, I thought it would be fun to do a little 2D platformer, and when you go over one of these, you're going to change your gravity so you start falling in that direction. Um, and, um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, so all I've done so far is, um, I got these tiles and these tiles I did not draw myself. Well, actually I did draw them, but, um, I got them <laughs> from a, uh, uh, extension that I added to this project. Um, so you've probably seen us many times use this tile maps extension, um, which you can add just by going to extensions and going down to, um, tile maps it's down here. It's got the dungeon preview. Um, and when you do that, one thing that actually happens that isn't um, obvious is that if you go into the tile map editor, we add another category to the gallery. It's called placeholder. And it's got a bunch of useful tiles that like are meant to just kind of indicate things. So um, arrows, there's some doors, there's some uh, uh, items and NPCs and everything that you can put and use in your world for, um, they're meant to be tiles that you end up just covering up with other things in your game. Um, but these arrows are already in there, so I thought it might be nice to just use these. Um, also, if you've tried to use these before and it didn't work, that's because there was a bug, but I fixed that bug earlier today, so try again. <laughs> um, and then the other thing I did was I drew a little character um, to be our protagonist. He's a little astronaut. Uh -huh. um, and so I drew uh, two versions of it. Um, one is the just facing forward. The other one is um, facing sideways. Um, and I'm just going to flip these to get the other directions for the gravity. So um, let's get started. Um, so to start, let's go ahead and make a variable that's going to be our player. Um, and I don't know if we want to do like a story or something, but if you guys think of something, you should let me know. Um, and first, we'll just set them to be this, this sprite. Um, but we're going to need to be able to store all the directions. So what I think I'm actually going to do is I'm going to create an array. So this game is like a platform where like get to the end, right? The goal is like you start from point A, you get to like point B. Yeah. OK. For now, at least, unless you have some other ideas. Oh, no, I just say if that's the flow, we can like construct a story around it or something. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do my usual um, direction thing, which is if the gravity is up, that means we want the upside down one. And to make an upside down one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this image and I'm going to flip it. So we're going to go to um, into images. We need to create a clone first. And just to make this easier, I'm going to make a temp variable. Um, and so we are going to first take this temp image. We're going to actually, we don't even need a clone. You can just put this here. Um, and then we're going to call a function on this to flip its direction. So that would be an images, not a raise. And we are going to flip our temp image um, vertically. There we go, this one. Um, and that's going to be our one that is facing um, upside down from here. And that means that it's falling up. Um, and so if you've seen me drive before, you know I always like to do directions in the same order because it makes it easier for me to remember. But we're going to do zero is up, one is uh, right, two is down, and three is uh, left. And, you know, this isn't important. You can make them mapped whatever you want, but this is how I do it in my head. So 
Um, all right. So we're going to go ahead and set our temp image right here. And I'm actually going to rename this to be um, up flipped. Um, and now let's go ahead and make another one. This one's going to be uh, left flipped. And for this one, we're going to use our other image. So um, I need to put this in here temporarily just so I can pull this out. Okay. Um, and we're going to call this uh, flip horizontally now on this one. And we'll change up flip to be left flipped. And now let's go ahead and fill out our array. So first we have up. Next we have right, which is going to just be this unflipped version. Then we have down, which is going to be this. Uh, unflipped version, and then we need the left flipped. So we'll do that. And it's a lot of code for an unexciting result that I could have done before stream, um, but here we go. We now have all of our images for all the different directions. Um, and since we have this, um, I think now it's time to add some gravity to our game. Um, we're going to do this with a function. So let's go ahead and do set gravity. And this is going to take in a direction, um, and this direction is going to be a number. It's going to be those same numbers that we were using before. All right. We're going to define another variable right now, and it's going to be called um, gravity. And um, this is just going to be like the constant that we use for our gravity. Um, so I'm going to make it 500, which might be too high. We'll see um, right now. Um, and let's go ahead and like loop over, I mean, not loop, but go over all of our directions. To do that, we're going to use just a standard if else and a comparison. And we can drag out this direction guy and see if it's equal to all of our different numbers. And let me bring down my post it. OK, so if direction is 0, that means our gravity is up. So in that case, um, what is the value we want to change? Joey. Uh, if we're going up, we want to change the AY. Exactly. So let's go ahead and not picture. We want to do the player. And we're going to change their AY to be. Oh, negative. Yes. negative. Yes. <laughs> Um, and the other thing we're going to do, because we're calling this set gravity, but we might be coming from a different direction, we're going to set our AX to be um, equal to uh, 0. So since we've done the um, up, let's go ahead and do the opposite one. So we're going to go down to 2, which is down. And for this one, we're going to set it to be positive gravity. And then we'll set AX to be 0. Next is right. And for right, we should be setting AX to someone. Positive gravity. Good job. Gold star. Yeah. Um, Joey gets gold star, too. Oh, yes. Um, mm -hmm. And so you might have guessed it, but we're going to do the opposite thing for left. So let's try that real quick. We're going to set um, our AX to be negative gravity. And our AY to be zero. All right, cool. We've got our gravity. Um, the only thing we haven't done so far is we need to also change our astronaut's image. Um, and I'm just going to do that real quick before we test this out because it's pretty easy. Um, we're just going to go down to um, in the sprites category, drag out a set image block. And because we made these numbers match, we can actually just go into array and then do get value at direction. So let's change this to be astronaut images. We need direction. There we go. And now let's call this function. So let's set it to down for first. Awesome. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, we should probably do a camera follow. It's kind of satisfying to watch them just fly off. Do we also do quarters for forgetting to do camera follow? Did you say do we or are we? I mean, should we? That was a light forget. That was a pretty, like, that was pretty early. Yeah. There's no consequence to forgetting to add the camera because you always know you forgot. Mm -hmm. Sure. I would say no quarters because otherwise we will rack up the quarters quickly. Yeah, there should be so many. <laughs> All right. So now to play around with this before we get into the tile map stuff, let's just go ahead and make it so our buttons change our direct our, our gravity, um, which is also probably a fun mechanic for a game. It's not what we're doing today, but you could do it. It would be fun. Um, so we're doing up button pressed. We want to call set gravity to be zero. When we press yes. down, we want it to be two. For left, we want it to be three. And for right, we want it to be one. And yeah, let's try this out. Yeah, this works. Mm -hmm. Cool. I'm confused by all the turning. It looks like your astronaut is meditating. Like sitting in lotus pose, we like. <laughs> I have full control over my acceleration. Does look like that, yeah. All right. Um, the other thing that I'm noticing is that we probably need to zero out our VX and VY when we turn. You um, could use friction if you want. It's kind of nice that it drifts a little bit. Yeah, but it drifts. Your your velocity never goes down. Yeah. Wait. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we could use friction yeah. if you want, but that might be a lot. Do friction and acceleration coexist? Uh, they don't, but if you're setting it to zero anyway, that it will friction will take over. Oh, is that true? Uh, acceleration overrides friction if it's set. All right. Well, yeah, let's try that, I guess. So we're going to set our friction... Um, fx and xy to just be constant, and they'll only take effect when it's zero, right? So hopefully this should be fine. Um, and what are some values? A uh, hundred. A hundred's a number. I was thinking a hundred too, so it must be right. So what's friction, guys? It's acceleration towards zero. It's a, it's a, you know, it's an excel, it's, it's a physics thing. Yeah. It slows you down. Are you trying down. to make us learn on our education? <laughs> I, mean, I just think you should explain what the numbers are doing. Yeah. So, um, as Joey mentioned, friction is just kind of the resistance that something encounters to moving in the direction that it's moving. So, um, in the real world, this is caused by our like rubbing against things, and we make little kind of intermediates. Um, connections and disconnections between the atoms that make it so that we are uh, have some friction between the thing. Um, but that's not really important. Um, uh, what it means in this case, though, is that it's you can think of it as acceleration, but it's acceleration that is always opposite in the direction you are moving. All I know is friction is what makes you hurt <laughs> when you fall and you're like, oh, man, my knee. It's true. Slows you down from falling forever. I'm not 100% sure this is working, but I think it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I can't do a stop. Yeah. It'll take... I think you're getting up to like 500 speed eventually. Uh, or 400 or something. So it'll take like a full second and a half to clear it out with 200. Because it should be in units per second squared. Uh, pixels per second squared. Three hundred seems pretty okay to me. Yeah. Um, all right, cool. Um, by the way, this is a fun little bug that we noticed the other day, but when you scroll, you can see my um, astronaut flying. Um, this is a lag thing. It shouldn't actually show up when we're playing the game. It just shows up when the simulator is lagging. Mm -hmm. um, so don't worry about it, but you are going to see him hopping while I'm moving around the workspace. <laughs> All right. 
So um, we want our game to uh, be um, changing the direction based on the tile that you're overlapping with. And this is going to bring us to a quick question, I think. But I think, personally, that you should always be moving the astronaut using left and right and pressing A to jump. So even if you are facing, even if the direction is that way, you're still pressing left and right, and it's going to be relative to how the astronaut is facing. The other way you could do the controls, though, is just that, you know, up is always up, right is always right, left is always left, down is always down. But I think that's more confusing. What do you guys think? I think no matter what, it's confusing, but I like your way better than the other way. What? Interesting. I think I would say the, if I want to go up, but I'm on the right, I would want to push up. But I also, it's hard to say without trying it out. You're supposed to be right. viewing it through the eyes of the protagonist. You're supposed to be in the but game. We are obviously not the protagonist. We are some third being viewing down. All right, here's a question, Joey. Um, if I do move sprites and I pass a negative velocity, is that going to swap it? I believe it does, and I think I remember checking that before. I'm interested in seeing if it works again, too. I think All it right. will work. So we're going to try this out. I'm going to remove my test code. And we're going to do a move the player with buttons. Um, but I'm going to expand this so that I get the arguments. And I'm going to pass in negative 100. And we will see if this is going to make it so that my X is swapped or not. Oh, indeed it does. Yeah, I thought so. Which, which buttons I'm pressing on the simulator here. Uh, and that's awesome. This is going to make this code way easier to do. We just multiplied by negative. So. Perfect. Yeah. All right, cool. So how we're going to do this is we are going to um, go ahead and do a move. Um, and we're going to move um, the player with buttons, and we're going to be setting it in this direction also. Um, and so first thing we're going to do is we're going to define a move speed. So just like how we're defining gravity, we make another constant. You might be like, why is Richard doing these in all no, caps? No, 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 don't rename. Thank you, Vivian. Um, Sorry. Why is Richard doing what? This in all caps, mm. instead of just typing in lowercase like a normal person. Um, it's a JavaScript thing. I'm sorry. This is just how I do <laughs> variable names. I mean, that's a, a pretty standard naming convention for constants across all, most programming language that I know. Um, OK, so direction is 0, which means we are going up. Um, and so in that case, we want to do the negative for here because we want it to be swapped. And we'll see how confusing this is um, once I actually get a chance to, to play it. But this coding should be pretty quick. So, All right. And that means for um, normal gravity, we're going to do move VX with positive zero. You know what? I'm just going to do that because it's easier to do. All right, now if we're doing um, right, then we want it to be so that, oh no, oh no, my plan is breaking down. Why is it breaking down? Because I can't rotate it. I can never make it so that pressing left, right is gonna make it work in the, the, the Y direction. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So forget about this. Instead, we're going to do some custom stuff. And we're going to use a block that we don't get to use very often. So inside controller, you may have noticed this DX and DY. DX and DY are actually very useful, but only if you're not using move. They pretty much do the same thing as move, but um, move takes care of a lot of the stuff automatically, which um, makes it easier to use. But um, what we're going to be doing in this case is we're going to be doing our own custom move handling, so DX is what we want. Um, so if you expand it, you get a value, DX scaled by, and this is the same as the speed in the move. So um, I'm always just going to pass um, move speed here.
Um, and also, real quick, I'm going to move these guys into OnStart because I don't really need to be setting them in this function. And I'm going to call set gravity um, to be two so that we aren't just flying at the beginning of the game. Awesome. Um, all right. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to do an on-game update. Um, and let me go ahead and grab that. And we are also going to need to store our current gravity direction. So I'm going to make a variable, and it's going to be current gravity direction. Um, and we're going to set it to be this direction. So we're going to need it over here. All right. So inside of this, um, actually, you know what? I think I maybe just thought of a better way. Do you want to share it with the group? I'm deciding if I want to or not. I'm thinking that instead I could make two variables, and they are like um, x multiplier and y multiplier, and just change it in here, and then I wouldn't have to duplicate this if statement. Multiplier and one. Yeah, yeah, I think I'll. Uh, will that work for? I guess we can be cute with it for jumping. We might need it. We'll need something similar for jumping anyway. True. With no, but, but we can just, just use, use the opposite. acceleration. Oh, sure. Yeah, that works. Um, all right, so we're going to be using um, uh, two variables. They're going to be called y speed and x speed. Um, and we're going to be setting these in each of these directions. Um, and these are going to be used in um, our game update. But for now, we're just going to set them. So when direction is 0, our y speed is going to be, um, let's see, it's going to be 0. And our x speed is going to be flipped. So we want to do 0 minus the um, new speed. And the way I'm calculating this is, um, Imagine you are the tiny guy, and you are facing in the direction that the gravity is at this point. Um, is your left and right the same as when you're right side up? And if it's not, it needs to be negative. This is actually a VR game. We just haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> yeah, VR made code coming in 2021. That's not true. <laughs> your make code facts aren't true. What facts are? Plenty of facts, just not one said by me. <laughs> All right, so if direction equals one, we're going to the right, which means that when I press right, I should be going up. Yes. And if I'm going <laughs> up, that means that y speed should be um, negative. Yes. I, I like this sort of yeses I'm hearing. That really helps convince me that these are correct, because... I cannot reason about this right now. Yeah, it's kind of, you need to like turn your head in interesting ways. <laughs> mm, I am an earth being. We're I mean, turning your head does help for this. That is true. Um, the other thing that's useful is um, just trying out the, the different, sometimes when I can't think of things like this, um, I just try them all out until it works. And mm. that works. We can, since there's four of us, we can each own a direction. And you got to know all the facts about your direction. Mm -hmm. Fact. I care normal. I call normal. I call three. I want three. Right. Um, well, anyway, real quick. So now we're going to change the player X and the player Y. And um, here's where we're finally going to be using our DX block. So we're going to be changing it by this DX each frame. But we're going to be scaling it by our X speed and Y speed. Uh, do we want to change the X or the VX? Because changing it by 500... I want to go... Oh, okay, that works. I think it works. Yeah, okay. Nice. Um, yeah, so let's try a different one. Let's try a harder one. Let's do right. And I'm pressing right, and we're moving that way. 
Pressing left, moving that way. That looks correct. Um, yes. Wait. That's right. Left would be up here, right? Left is down. <laughs> right is up. If you're yeah, right. okay, it's back. facing towards the camera, then left is up. Yes. It's backwards. Thank you, Joey. Wait. I'm oh, confused now. No, it was correct. Yeah. But you're facing towards the... Oh, but, but it was backwards to begin oh, right. with. Because we're not the astronaut. Numbers are, numbers are messing with me, man. Uh, three is my territory. Wait, isn't three the normal one? Two is normal. Two is normal. One. Yeah, this is right. We were thinking from the perspective Zero. of the astronaut, but really we need to be thinking from the perspective of someone who is looking at the astronaut. We need to be thinking about the, the second head that's on the giraffe's neck that's facing <laughs> the other way. Yes, okay, you're right. Oh boy, this is going to be so confusing. This was possibly a bad way to do this. We'll change it though if it is. Um, anyway, real quick, um, this is pretty slow, so I'm going to bump this up. So pretty slow. There we go. That's okay. All right. Time now to do uh, the jump. So uh, I'm getting rid of these button handlers because we're not using them. Um, and these also. And now we're going to go into our um, controller and get an on A button pressed. And so an on A button pressed, we're going to set our um, direction. Uh, we're going to set our um, VX and VY based on our direction. Um, and for this, I am going to go ahead and uh, define another constant. And it's going to be jump height. Um, and let's see, I want to jump high enough so that I can get into here, which is one, two, three, four blocks. So that's 64. Nope, that's not the place to put that. All right, what is the formula for jump jump velocity? Square root of two times jump height times gravity. Yep. Um, so for the jump velocity, we can actually go ahead and put this in a constant also, but I'm not going to do it all caps because I'm calculating this one. I don't know. Um, and it's going to be uh, the square root of two times the uh, gravity times the jump height. And we're just going to be changing the sign on this and whether or not we put it on um, A or Y, depending on what the current velocity is. I think that's the wrong um, place. Yeah, it is. Um, OK, actually, I'm going to get rid of this variable because I just thought of a more fun way to do this. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, just set our VX and VY. To be um, this. And then um, we're going to do the player. Um, and we're going to just um, put in instead of gravity. No, because that'll have a weird sign thing, won't it? Take it back. Isn't the weird sign thing a weird sign thing we want? 
it's in a square root. Oh, because it's in the square root. root. Yeah. yeah. Um, so never mind. We're just going to do a big if statement. <laughs> All right. So if the players um, a x is um, wait, I want to do these in the right in the right one. So we want to do first a y. So if the player a y is um, less than zero then that means we're going up. Um, so in that case, we're going to set the y velocity to be um, square root of two times that. Yeah, so that's right. Um, and we're also going to put this inside of another if statement. And that if statement is going to be is hitting wall in the direction. is hitting well top. OK, next case. We're going right, which means um, Vx is greater than 0. I mean, Ax is greater than 0. In this case, we want to see is hitting wall right. And we're going to set our Vx to be negative this. All right. Now I'm going to do the opposites of both of these. Why haven't we been doing this thing the entire time of just like dragging out the thing and putting it in the other zero? It makes it so much easier. I feel like the greatest discoveries are by accident. Mm, it's true. Um, and this one we want to set it to the negative because this is normal styles all right I think that's right let's see top less than positive x greater than negative right bottom greater than negative left uh positive yes this is this is right all right let's do a jump jump <laughs> all right we're so close now we just need to do our on tile overlaps and set the gravity, and this should be very easy to do. So let's do that real quick. It might be very funny too, real quick. What? Oh, the, the depending on how fast it uh, spot it's it changes yeah. acceleration. We'll see. There's there's a reason I started with this shape because I wanted to see what would happen. <laughs> All right. You know what? Just to keep this a secret. Um, I'm going to pause the simulator while I'm doing this. You didn't pause it, you killed it. So dramatic. All right, let's do these in the right order. So we're going to do up, right, down, left. And they're not aligned, but I'm going to let it, I'm just going to let it be. I really like that the uh, arrows, each color has a slight, a different tail behind it, like lined out so that it's color accessible. Yes, oh. that is why I did that. Thank you for noticing. No, it's there. It's there. There we go. <laughs> Amazing. So beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Well, oh, pretty good. <laughs> what happens if you're like in between the two lines? Then, uh -huh. um, whichever one happens to, well, I guess we have a defined system. It should be top and then 
top will take over left, mm. and then left will take over right. Um, sorry, opposite of that. The top will apply first, and then the bottom will apply, so it will re- it will replace it and choose the bottom one. Mm. All right, I'm going to do a thing real quick also, which is, so I like being able to control your jumps in the air, but it kind of messes things up when you're doing it with this fun gravity stuff. So I'm going to make it so that you can only change your direction if you're not on the center of one of these, if your center is not on the on one of these. Um, so to do that, I'm going to basically lock the controls. And I'm going to do that inside of a logic, we'll do an if. We're going to drag out some ors. It's a bunch of ors. Yeah, oh, three of them. Yeah. And we're going to do an is, tile to center of the player is this arrow. Oof. All right, and we're going to put all this into a knot. Yeah, I was waiting for me to make that mistake. I could tell. I was just curious how you're going to get it into the knot. There you go. There you go. All right, now I can't control anything while I'm my gravity is being flipped, but once I'm out, I can do it again. Okay. Seems good. All right, I think we should make the friction more. So let me go to where I'm defining that. Yeah, mm-hmm. let's up it to like... As, yeah, as fast as gravity was setting in the first place. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, let's design some levels. Uh-huh. Um, so this is not a very fun level. Um, I did it because I wanted to see what would happen, but now I know. So could be go away. All right. Um, and I'm going to just make a big, um, I think it'll be fun to do just a big square level. Mm-hmm. And um, the, the way that we'll um, do this is, I think, um, just to start out and kind of try how the platforming stuff works, I'm going to define a wall tile. Um, and I don't know, it should be just like moon stuff. Mm. Kind of cratery. I don't know. I believe it. I should have asked you guys to draw me tile set art. <laughs> do it now. What do you want? I don't know. Be creative. Draw me some moon okay. tiles. Mm-hmm. Or I guess just, you know, space stuff. I think that looks better than what I currently have. No, it was so close. <laughs> so the more key tools for. All right. So my idea here is you're going to start up here and your gravity is going to be normal style. And you're going to go through here and your gravity is going to be this way. And you go through here and your gravity is going to be this way. And you go through here and your gravity is going to be this way. And you're going to be like, please get me out of this game. These controls are so crazy. Um, it's important not to make a fun game. It's important to make a game that makes your user dislike you. That's a game design. 
We're just like really dizzy. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go ahead and make a spawn tile real quick. And for that, I'm going to go ahead and let's go back to my game so I can steal my astronaut who is too big, but I'll put as much of him in as I can. Luckily, he's bigger than 16 by 16, which normally would be bad for using tile maps, but um, he's bigger by 16 by 16 in the vertical direction. So I'm just going to work around that. Um, so let's edit this, paste him in. There we go. And we're going to start right here. And the gravity already starts in the in the right direction, so I'm not going to make any um, changes. So we'll just do, you know, a dumb little platforming section. Um, and then we'll go through here. And when you go through here, this is where I'm going to do the swap. Oh, okay. I thought this was going to be the up one. And this is just going to be a super boring level because there's no real like danger right now. <laughs> So we might do some, some more stuff, but I just want to see how the, the controls feel. Um, it looks like you really love the number two. You're like, two, 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 two. <laughs> I mean, it's okay. Two's better than one. My favorite number is six. But it is the loneliest number next to number one. Uh -huh. Six? No, no two. two. Oh, oh, okay. It can be as bad as one at times. Seven is six your favorite number because it's perfect? Wait, how is it perfect? I would love to know. Oh, it's a perfect number. <laughs> I think if you Wait, add up all the factors, it adds up into six. Oh, that's pretty cool. I did not know that. I like it because I feel like when I was six, I had a really good year. So I was like, okay, <laughs> being six is great. You but really peaked at six years old. Yeah, there's also a TV show about monsters, and all the monsters had a number, and six was the ballerina one. She was pretty cool. Wait, you don't mean like the, the Nickelodeon show, do you? I don't remember what it was. Let me look at monster number show. Did the paint bucket not work? No, no bug. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. It'll no, probably be fixed in the next release. It. Sorry? It'll probably be fixed in the next release, probably. <laughs> It's fine. Drawing walls by hand builds character. <laughs> it's like walking uphill both ways in the snow. <laughs> All right. We got our walls now. Um, we start up we got here. got our Let's little astronaut friend. friend. Um, yeah, and so we're going to go ahead and do a, um, a cover of that tile. So we're going to cover all um, the astronaut tiles with space um, and we're going to uh, place our um, character on top of the astronaut tile to start. So we're going to place the player on top of random astronaut tile. Cool. All right. Jump, 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 jump. Whoops. All right. Brief confusion about how this worked. Huh? Can the player say whoops whenever they get flipped? I think that's a valid reaction. This is awesome. I feel like this is also a really good intro level. It makes the directions like very straightforward. Oh. Yeah. Like Except the mechanic. I messed it up. Wait. Because it goes, this, this one is this way, and this one is also this way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so. I 
mean, sometimes gravity goes back to normal. That's fine. I don't know. Is this going to make it impossible? Yeah. Well, unless you... I mean, you could start... high. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you started from the top, or... If you move the orange arrows up um, and started in the opposite corner. Oh, that's the way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Shannon always saves the day. Great <laughs> ideas. Two can be as bad as one, as long as not as one. Okay. Um, and I think I also want to redo how these are laid out, so we'll make it a little more fun. Do, do, do. Whoops. Do, do, do. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. We had a question in chat asking what we're doing today. So if you're tuning in now, we have overcome great hardship, twisting our minds into thinking into new ways. And we're making a game where you're an astronaut and your gravity is going all over the place if you touch these arrows. Yep. Um, so the way it works is when you overlap with one of these arrows, you're... Whoops. <laughs> Your um, gravity changes direction, um, and um, yeah, it's a good time to be had. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to start the player right here so that they immediately fall down and get flipped up. Um, and, oh no, they should start in the normal gravity part, right? Yeah, I think that makes sense. Yeah. So we're going to start them out um, in here. Maybe they can fall through the uh, through the down arrow to start with, so that it kind of... So I think it'll sense. become... I think it'll, it'll be more obvious fun if they, Yeah, if they, like, discover it as it goes, you know? Yeah, okay. Sounds good. I would love to see a level in the future where we have like a hole in the ground, but we're traveling gravity right. So we have to hit the gravity arrow to like a basketball into a <laughs> hoop and thread the needle into the ground. You are right. This game does need more basketballs. <laughs> Guys, I tried to include as many as I could. <laughs> Can't say you did a great job, Richard. <laughs> I'll make a I'll make a basketball tile. <laughs> oh yeah, Vivian made a tile for you. Oh yeah, but it's not it's not it's just a like a crater. It's not that useful. Maybe that can the be moon. the trap. You you go and look at a crater, but you're an astronaut, so you're also kind of a scientist, so you get stuck studying it for a little while. <laughs> All right, I'm just drawing some random mazy stuff. No real reason for it. Um, this is just how it's turning out. Probably not very fun. Um, but more interesting than the twos. <laughs> what kind of collectibles would there be on this space planet? Let's see. What do astronauts get? Um, you could rocks. be a criminal astronaut, and you could get some space rocks. Wait, is that illegal? Um, it's illegal for them to not hand them over to NASA. Really? That's kind of lame. Yeah, then one of the astronauts recently, like, said Admitted that they to? Had, yeah, had secretly done it. And... Went to astronaut jail? Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, you don't go to astronaut jail. They just launch you into space. 
That is space is astronaut jail. Don't they want to go back to space? Well, That's they want something habitat. around them before they get launched into space. Oh no! I wouldn't want to go back to space. space that could be the backstory for our astronaut, but because they have the moon rock in their pocket, it means that they can survive and they will be affected by the arrows that are in space. It's basically magnets, right? That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Magnets and change gravity. Who I knows? Think. Who knows how magnets work? Not me. It's true. It's a mystery. <laughs> Nobody can explain that. I feel I feel like when I took my magnets class, I started off thinking like, oh, I understand magnets. They're like arrows. And you're like, Vroom. but then I feel like the more I learned about it, the more I was confused about it. Like, how I mean, does this work? Like, yeah, it's kind of like computers. Like, it's just kind of a rock that we hit with lightning enough until it works. Mm, and I'm more amazed that it, it works. Every day. This basketball is looking awesome. <laughs> Did anyone else do tiles? No. I didn't want to sell your creation. I didn't want to either, but Richard asked. You can't you would, you you wouldn't be selling it. I, I would be selling it. I, you have lost three gold stars. Oh. Whoa! This has never happened before. Oh, oh I've never been betrayed like this before. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon? What? Do you do any tiles? No. <laughs> Can you be negative in gold stars? <laughs> you guys, I'm never going to trust you again. I just want the game to turn out pretty like it's currently turning out. It's not it's not pretty at all. I feel like you can't look at the game based on, like, its actual properties. It's based on how the people are feeling. So now (laughs) Richard is feeling betrayed, and this game stinks of it. (laughs) I didn't know what kind of tiles to make. That does, but you've got to at least say, you know, I'm not going to make you a tile. And then then Richard goes, you know, make me a tile that's, like, you know, purple and has alien junk on it. And then I give you more specifics. But now, now where are we, Shannon? Stuck with I'm just waiting for the basketball tiles. <laughs> All right, we made a fun little infinite game, which um, fun is in quotes there, uh, where you can, uh, yeah, just go around and do stuff. It's like life. It is like life. Life is like a gravity-shifting moon space thing and you're in a spacesuit. <laughs> All right, real quick, let me add the, the tiles. Do, 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 do. Oh whoops. I think you're, you're editing. Did you push edit? Uh, yeah, I wanted to. No, wait, but mine won't work for <laughs> instead. I think it'll work just fine. <laughs> See, this is a beautiful game. <laughs> it's basically <laughs> Space Jam, I think. <laughs> <laughs> no. See, if I had contributed a tile, the game wouldn't be this beautiful. <laughs> It kind of looks like we're in a pumpkin batch. It does. <laughs> pumpkin space. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for joining us on making our game. I think that's the title. Yeah, good. Pumpkin space. <laughs> uh, no, sorry. It's trapped in pumpkin space. <laughs> uh, hopefully someone can take this and kind of just use it as a basis for making a much cooler game. Um but for now, we at least showed you how to mess around with gravity and do gravity in different directions. Um, and, um, yeah, feel free to use this little astronaut character for whatever you want, because he's pretty good. Um, even though he's not animated. So, um, I'm Richard. I'm Richard on the Make Code Forum. I'm Joe at J Wondrel on the Make Code Forum. Oh. I'm Shannon at Chicago on the Make Code Forum. And I'm Vivian at Lift Trip on the Make Code Forum. I, I don't know if you saw Richard, but Shannon posted <laughs> a tile in the chat. 
That looks right. like a lot of season Bs. No more betrayal. Um, um, Shannon gets all of Joey's gold stars. 